But what about hidayah? Many of us act as though guidance is something random that Allah just drops into your heart out of the blue. You find somebody smoking outside the masjid at salah time. Brother, come inside. Yani, you have another cigarette in your pocket. After salah, you can continue. <laughs> come for salah. Brother, when Allah guides me, I'll stop. Okay, have you been? No problem. Yes, you see, see a brother and a sister walking, holding hands on the road, and you know they're not married. You say, look, Habib, look, man. why don't you enjoy this relationship while married? Look, when Allah guides me, then, yes, salah time comes, salah time goes. Find one uncle, he's not praying salah. Uncle, salah, when Allah guides me, then I will start praying. Okay, this is the question, yes. Why don't we deal with, your, with wealth in the same way? Why don't you just sit on the couch at home and say, when Allah grants me wealth, I'll become wealthy. Why is it that you're sweating and bleeding and tiring and exhausting yourself to earn this living to pay your bills? With rizq, we will sweat because we know you have to take the steps to get it. But with hidayah, guidance from Allah, we think just by sitting and holding hands and singing songs, we'll do nothing, put the telly on, put your feet up, Allah will guide us. How does the guidance of Allah come? Are we supposed to seek it? What's the evidence of that we are supposed to seek it? How do we seek it? There's a word for this in the Quran. It starts with J, not a popular word. Yes, Fox News doesn't like this word. Yes, jihad. Who can tell me where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, if you do jihad, I will give you guidance. <laughs> this ayah, I want you to stop with me for one moment. We said one way for you to get guidance is to ask Allah. But also in Hadith Qudsi in Sahih Muslim, Ya Ibadi, Allah says, Kullukum dalun illa man hadaytu. All of you are lost except the ones I have guided. Fastahduni, ask me to guide you. Uhdikum, I will show you the way. But you have to ask me. It doesn't come free. They say in English, you don't ask, you don't get. So if you don't ask, how is Allah going to give you the guidance? Okay, this is the first thing. Second one, jihad. I'm not asking anybody to pick up arms. <laughs> yes. The majority of times in the Quran when jihad is mentioned, it is not regarding physical fighting. The majority of times jihad comes in the Quran. In this ayah, Allah says, this is the only ayah, Allah promises guidance with three emphasis. He can say, وَالَّذِينَ جَاهَدُوا فِينَا but he says La subulana. These are letters in Arabic used to emphasize 100% definitely 100 guaranteed I will guide you if you do this thing What is the thing? Al jihadu fillah What does it mean? Jahada yujahidu To struggle To fight Which enemy? Who are you fighting? Yourself Our greatest enemy is ourself I'll give you an example you are somebody who doesn't pray salah. Well, let's, mashallah, we're all in front of the presence of the muttaqin. You are somebody you want to pray the night prayer, qiyamul layl, after Ramadan, regularly. But Allah is not guiding me. What step can I take? You have to struggle and fight yourself, the first thing. When it comes night time, 9 p.m., you like to turn on the te television and watch some TV serials until midnight. Then you say, oh, Allah is not waking me up for tahajjud. Okay. First step, right? Let's sacrifice the TV serials. Watch for 10 minutes, turn it off. Go to bed early. Yeah, it's easy for me to say this, right? It will take you six months to do it. Because it's really jihad. To say no to yourself is a jihad. It's a fight. It's tough. It's not easy. And then to have a light dinner. And then to put three alarms on and put them in different places. This is all jihad. You're fighting yourself. If you do all of these steps, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will 100% let you enjoy the sweetness of tajjud. But did you fight yourself? Did you try? Did we struggle? Where there is no struggle, no reward. There's another English saying, no pain, no shawarma. Sorry, no pain, no gain. Yes, sorry, I'm hungry, so shawarma always comes to my mind. Yes? 